son. I mean, just look at the poor bishop that's sitting there on the H2 square. I, think, I mean, it might yeah. as well be a pawn. I mean, uh, this yeah. move is a killer. You're threatening to, you know, just take the knight and checkmate. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're anchor. And uh, you're also not just the exchange up, you're, you're pawn up now as well. So, I mean, you, any ending is just trivial. Um, the king comes out. <sighs> Where's the killer blow? There's a couple here, surely. Yeah. A couple of killer blows. I mean, you, yeah, you've got many, many winning moves there. You can take a pawn with your bishop, with the black yeah. bishop. Uh, you can even just capture the white knight with the black rook. I think yeah. that's just a straightforward win. This is the most simple end. He's there resigned. Wow. What can I say? What that a result. Phenomenal, right? Phenomenal. What a result. Yeah, you said it, David. Incredible start to the day for Hans Niemann, the lowest rated player in the tournament with the black pieces, a win against world number one, Magnus Carlsen. And now I'm curious to hear some reactions from Hans in Miami. Hans, yesterday was a terrible uh, day for you, and today you start out with a masterpiece. How would you summarize it? Chess speaks for itself. Is it something special doing this against Magnus, Hans? Such a character. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, me I neither. Was expecting him to kind of get, yeah, it was a great game. I'm in good shape you know, and everything. <laughs> and instead, we get chess speaks for itself. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. What, what do you think he's feeling inside, David, giving that kind of response to Zvada? I mean, it's just elation inside. He's buzzing. <laughs> he wants to smile, but he's trying not to until today is over. And uh, it reminds me of that great football manager, Jose Mourinho. It's the, kind of that mm. us against the world mentality. At the moment, that's how he feels. He feels it's him against the world. He wants to prove everyone wrong. He wants to show that he is one of the best uh, American players. And what a game that was. Um, I just want to highlight one moment where he clinched the win. We were praising his play. Black has done everything right. Um, Black's queen, Black's two bishops, Black's rooks lined up. And uh, here, Magnus did finally blunder. Under pressure, we can understand this blunder, but he moved his rook across, and this was the killer blow. Black's bishop just sneaking into the position, hitting the white rook. If the white rook moves, then the other white rook falls. These two white rooks are skewered along this diagonal, but more importantly, the bishop cannot be captured because then the other, black, uh, the other white rook would fall, and uh, this is clearly one-sided. So this was the finishing touch on what was really, really a work of art from Neiman. The tilt is over. What a comeback by Hans Niemann. And in game two, he will have the white pieces. He is up by one point against world champion Magnus Carlsen. And now it's up to Magnus to make that comeback. We're going to follow that game coming up in uh, 17 minutes. Uh, right now, we're going to take a commercial break. But when we come back...